Welcome back everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to be not in here at all. So I'm gonna show you how to assess a scene when you are in it and pick the best places to do pictures. I hope that you leave this video with the skill to be able to look at and assess a shoot location and work out what it is you uh, want to be shooting. And also I'm hoping that you can kind of almost envision the final image as well, because that will improve you as a photographer. No end, no end at all. If you haven't already, please do press the subscribe button and click the bell icon. The bell icon helps you out because it gives you notification every single time I upload a video. I upload a video every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it and if I have time. So this shoot, the purpose of it essentially was to get me out of the house because I've been in since like March and then to also get some pictures for some nice wall art. And then finally, the last thing that we wanted to do was also to test out one of my new lenses. What we did was we went to a location, which I'm gonna pick up as soon as we um, jump into that with a little bit more of an introduction as to where we are. I asked on social media whether you guys wanted to see the behind the scenes of this particular shoot and you guys overwhelmingly said yes. You also said that you wanted to see straight out of camera as well as the final edits, which is fine. So I've included those in here as well. Uh, three things about this video realistically that I need you to know. First of all, squeaky ball warning. So if you've got a, um, a pet that is interested in squeakies or gets a bit too overexcited, there will be squeakies in this video. I have tried to keep them to a minimum, but they exist and I can't cut them out. So squeaky toy warning. Number two is that my dogs are very well trained. They are very, very well trained, especially Alfie for photography, as you guys well know. So where I've positioned him and then left him waiting there for ages, that's not realistic for the vast majority of dogs. So if you need to, there is absolutely no reason why, why literally any of the pictures that you can see in this video today can't be done with the dog on a lead. There is literally just, there's, all of them can be done with the dog on a lead. You could have um, an owner or a helper holding the lead, you know, out to one side, or you could um, tether the dog as long as the, you know, the tether's out of the way and it's quite easy to look at. Make sure safety first. So if there is um, a situation like the big log that we use in this video, don't, don't ask an owner or a dog to be on the log if it's not safe. Think what is the worst thing that could happen in this situation and then shoot for that, not don't shoot. Oh, well that will probably never happen because probably will if you've said that. Oh, editing, just reading my notes there. The edit, uh, the editing that I've done on these images is, is quite heavy, it's heavy editing. That's because they were for a complete set of wall pieces. So they all work together and um, they suit where they're gonna live. So uh, yeah, so just if you are wondering what the point was of that, then that's the point of that. I've just included the final edits just so that you guys can see where I was going with it. It's not there to say this is how you should do that. And as you all know from the style interviews, which I will link above, that's important. Uh, I really appreciate audience participation, mainly here in the YouTube comments, but also on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you're not there, be there. I think that's it. Enjoy the video. We're in the woods with Alfie and Pippi. Da, good girl. So we've got Pippi and we've got Alfie. We're in North Yorkshire in a wood and the, the light is changing from cloud to sun to cloud. So we're not probably gonna record the whole thing because we keep having to stop and wait. But what I'm hopefully gonna show you today is how I look at a scene and how I look at a location and work out where to be, where to put the subject, if we can, you know, control the subject and just the general things that I'm looking for to get a good picture. I've got with me both the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200 Sony G Master lenses. So I will switch if I need to in terms of the environment, but for the most part, I'm hoping to keep this uh, 70 to 200 on and the vast majority is gonna be at 2.8, not any higher than that. And the first location for us is this log, this log, which I'm hoping that you can see. So um, I have already shot on the log because like I said, the light's a bit of a pain, but we'll probably put um, Alf back on the log so that I can show you. So if, if you come to my height, ready? Where's ball? Release. Okay. So, hello. Hey you, come here little grass eater. 
thank you. Um, one thing that I'm just gonna do really quick is just do a quick white balance check. The link to this is in the description below. Everybody knows that I love using these. So I'm gonna do a quick white balance check of my log area. The light is gonna change. Your boy puppy. So it's not gonna be perfect, but just like as a general representation, we will just get a quick picture. I mean, that's a nice portrait. Waiting. Good. Can you walk to the other side? Try and get to my level. Waiting. Someone proud. Wow, squeaks. Ta. And we'll go and explore the forest a little bit more. I found a stump. It's again, really bright light, so we'll talk through it now because when it's soft, then I will shoot. The Stump obviously has got a tree right behind, so you wouldn't shoot straight at the stump from where I'm stood now because there's that tree. But if you angle yourself slightly to one side, over this little beck, from here, you've got kind of a clear path behind, so it'll be a bit softer. So we'll shoot there like that when the light is soft. So just FYI, this light is too harsh. So if Alfie, Alfie come go hop up. If Alf's on there, although his face is in the shade, your exposure would have to be so low that everything behind him in the bright sunlight would completely blow out. So he's seen some walkers. I'm hoping he's not gonna go and jump up at them. Wait, just that's something to bear in mind. So make sure that the background is completely clear and then also make sure that the light is soft enough. Good boy. So we'll wait for the light to change and then we'll shoot and then we'll go find somewhere else. Can you put them up? Wow, this way. Good, back up. Wait, wait. Take that out from sticking up your bum. Good, baby Stan. Good, wait. Wait. So put her in a wait. Move all the way back. Waiting. Whilst I make sure I get the shot. Waiting. Wait. Ready. Beautiful, Gingy. So I'm framing it with this big stumpy thing. Whatever it is. Good girl, wow. Look at my hairs. My hair, and, oh, hopefully we can see that we've got lots of different types of woodland. So we've got really deep coniferous woodland and then we've got open deciduous woodland on the left. That gives us completely different types of shots. It is tick country. We've already got a tick on Pippi's eye, which is not ideal. Um, but I'm constantly looking into the scenery for scenes. So I'm imagining that my eyes are 200 mil, which is hard because they're more like 50 mil on a full frame. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking really deep and trying to see if there's lines, shapes. Good boy puppy looking for logs, looking for layers in the backgrounds and just seeing really if there's anything that we can use to make a good shot. So what I'm not looking for is something like this track that we're about to come down onto for this shoot today because it's too open really, it's a bit boring for what I'm actually going for. But what we can do we can look a bit further so if we look down here this is nice let's go down here so this is a beautiful resource for that we've got you know not on our doorstep but within an hour an hour's drive so now that we can go out a bit more we've locked down it's worth us coming so i can see that we've got like a wigwam someone's built in the tree alfie get out of the water <laughs> we've got uh, lots of different streams coming down into this little river which is down there so we're going to go down there Alfie's gonna try not to get soaked, but he will. This is so nice. You know, I've stayed here on holiday and I've never been down here. Right, let's go and see whether we can put him in the water. That's deeper than my boots are waterproof. <laughs> and up there, up that track at the other side. Thank you. 
So I'm going to do a final shot. I had to take all my mic and everything off so we haven't recorded it because I was in the water and it's too risky. So what we're going to do is there's like a little stump in the middle of this clearing. So we're going to put him on the top of the stump and um, just shoot through because it's a nice background. So we've got lighter green, darker green, more trees, less trees, theoretically. So I'm probably going to do that one and that one. So do you want to come around so you can see the backgrounds? I'm shooting portrait at the moment because get more of the scenery in. So if we shoot from this direction, so we've got a completely open background with a few little spots of colour because there's the whatever the pink flowers are, maybe rhododendrons, we're not quite sure. And then if we were going to this direction, so back from where you are now, you've got this little oak sapling and then a lot darker background. Come here, this side, this side, this side, this side. Good boy, steady. Can we do fronts? Good, wait. Good. Oh, it's a panty bear. Beautiful. Your little mythical woodland creature. You're a creature, all right. That's something that my daddy would say. So I'm just going to put this fern, waiting buddy, I'm just going to put this little fern plant in the shot, really close to the lens, and then that will give us some essentially green vignetting. And I just frame his head through a gap and it's either going to work or it's not. Okay, good boy! Good, steady! <laughs> Little elephant. Oh, I'm melting. It's really humid. I think they won't be able to hear you, Dan, but what you said was mean. Alfie, come, friends. So, what I'm doing is, oh, okay, we're sitting on it. Okay, come sit on it. Good boy. So, what we're doing is we're framing with this tree here and then that tree there. Not too bothered about the bits behind, but you wouldn't want a, one of those trees coming out of his head because that would be bad. Waiting. So, this time I'm going to see if I can get through to this little fern plant. Might be too low, to be honest. Beautiful. So we've got real bright light behind, so we're gonna have to do a bit of work on that, but I'm gonna shoot a couple. Wow, good boy. And I'm just reeling off a few shots and refocusing between them just to make sure that I don't miss the shot. Okay. Lightheaded, stood up too quick. Oh, hugging leg. Come friends. Oh, thank you. That's it. I'll meet you back in the office. So thanks so much for joining me again. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Please obviously also press the subscribe button uh, and click the bell icon because the bell icon helps. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me.